Hi, I'm Natalie from Cosby Yarn Bomb. We're really pleased to be delivering these heart making craft workshops as a part of this summer's Festival of Stories brought to you by Culture Leicestershire. The book that we're inspired for for this project is a book called Somebody Loves You, Mr Hatch by Eileen Spinelli. It's a story about being kind to others in your community, supporting each other and spreading kindness and love. I'm going on to demonstrate to you how to make your two hearts. Once you've made them, you can choose to keep them for yourself, you can gift them to somebody else or you can return them to your local library to be part of an installation at this summer's Cosby Yarn Bomb. There's more information on that at the end of the tutorial. Okay, let's get making, hope you enjoy. So in your wire heart bag, you have your wire heart, a piece of card that's wrapped in the yarn, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six different colours. Um, one of those colours we're going to leave to one side to make your tie at the end. I've taken off the bits of yarn from my card, but just keep hold of your piece of card because we're going to use that later on for our felt heart that we make. Okay, so taking one of your first strands of yarn, you're going to tie it on to the wire heart at any point. We're going to do a double knot. Because the yarn tends to slip against the wire, it's good to just do that double knot so that it doesn't move around so much once you start to wrap. What you're going to do then is you're going to take it across to another part on the heart and you're going to double wrap again and take it to another point on the heart. Double wrap and across to another point. Double wrap and across to another place. Double wrap and across to another place. I'm probably going to leave that 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 length there to be able to tie it off. Um, so double knot again. Okay. So that's your first strand of yarn tied on. You're next going to take another piece and again tying it on at a point. And going across your heart, wrap round twice, pull it tight and then across again. I'm going to continue until I've wrapped my five strands of yarn. I'll speed this bit up. And then we're going to take the last strand that you've got and we're going to use that to make our loop. So when we do our yarn bombs, we're quite often hanging things out in the public, so in a tree or um, off railings so it's good for us to have some flexibility in terms of the length of the piece of yarn and um, so if you would like your heart to be a part of of Cosby Yarn Bomb and you're going to return it for that then this is a good length for us to be able to um, sort of hang the height from different the heart from different heights if not and you're going to keep the heart for yourself or gift it to somebody else you can decide on how long you want your tie to be so we're just going to take the last strand and really simply you're going to just tie it around that centre piece of the heart. I'm going to double knot 
or maybe three envelope and then that is your finished wrapped wire heart we're going to make the felt heart with the yarn tassel in your bag you've got a skein of embroidery threads you've got a bit of wadding you've got the two felt hearts um, and you've got yarn to make your tassel we're also going to use the piece of card that your yarn was wrapped on for the wire heart so you can have that to hand as well you've got your embroidery sewing needle too i've already threaded up my needle and i've knotted a double knot in the end to get us started you want your length of embroidery thread to be long enough to go around the heart but not too long that you're it's difficult to pull through and you're getting all in a tangle okay so you're going to take your two hearts that are together and just keep those sort of sandwiched together you're just going to lift the bottom of the the yard the heart here and we're going to go in at that point there so that your knot and end is inside i'm going to show you how to do an over stitch where we're going to go over and around the heart so if you know any other stitches you can use a running stitch or a blanket stitch and that's absolutely fine to use as well okay so you're now going to go over to the back of the heart and come up through the two pieces like so and each time you come through the back you move up the heart slightly it's probably about half a centimeter doesn't have to be exactly perfect it's nice that they're all a little bit individual and unique I'm going to continue around to about here and we're going to leave a gap here to put our wadding in to stuff it but I'll just speed this bit up until I get round to there okay <music> I'm going to stop at that point so that we've got enough of a gap to be able to put our wadding in okay so you want to start with some smallish pieces and just push it in to the furthest point and then up into the other side of the heart you don't have to put all of the stuff in and it's really up to you as to Sort of how much you want to add in okay so what we're gonna do I've left my needle on so that it's we don't have to keep re-threading the needle so now I'm gonna just carry on and sew up that bottom gap that we left open Okay, so that's your little heart stuffed and stitched. To finish that off, we're going to make a knot by going underneath where you last came out with your needle, back up and through, and then through the loop and pull it tight. Okay, I'm also going to leave that attached with the needle because once we've made our tassel we can sew that on directly so you could just pop your needle in there put it to one side whilst we make our tassel 
So take the card that you had from the wire heart that the yarn's wrapped around and the yarn that you've got in your heart pack, in the bag for your heart, your felt heart. We're going to wrap this around the card. You can choose to do it that way or that way. It's completely up to you. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to start by holding the yarn down the back like that and you just wrap the yarn around the card so that's your yarn wrapped around what you're going to do then is you're going to slide the yarn so you can bend the card slightly just slide the yarn off off your card so it's on the table take the piece of yarn that we cut off and lay it just underneath so that you've got about I don't know, about three centimeters from the top we're going to tie a double knot which makes the top of our tassel and then we're going to cut through the bottom bit like this just making sure you cut through all of the loops that are, that are at the bottom Put this on there Okay, then you can just hold it up and see how it hangs. If you've got any bits that are longer, you can trim them off too. Okay, so that's our tassel. We're going to go back to our heart and through the centre of the top piece of your tassel, you're going to thread your needle through, catching all the bits at the top of the tassel. We're going to come back to the heart and you're going to put your needle through the point at the bottom like so and pull it tight. You do the same back through the top of your tassel and again back through the heart but this time we'll just come out to the back so that we can secure it off there okay then we're going to do that knot again with the the embroidery thread so back underneath where you came out it's got a little bit thick so we've got the double layers so pull that you've got a loop there so don't pull it all the way down leave a loop, needle back through the loop and pull it tight, that makes a knot. If we cut that there we'll have a, a bit of an end of the, of the embroidery thread. So what we can do is you go, you go through where your knot is and just through the centre of the heart and you pull that up, take that off and then just trim that, being careful not to catch the felt and then that just disappears so that tidies up your end. Okay, so that's our heart and tassel. Then we need a loop for hanging. So with another piece of our embroidery thread, you're going to thread your needle I've probably got here about um, probably about a meter length of embroidery thread. It doesn't have to be that long, but again, if if it's going to be part of the yarn bomb, it gives us a bit more flexibility. If it's longer, we can always cut off any excess when we're hanging. If you're making it for yourself or again to gift to somebody, you can make this loop as as sort of long or as short as you like. So I'm just going to go through the top of the bit where the heart comes in with my needle and then you can take your needle off and we're just going to tie that into double knot to secure that at the top one two okay and then that's your loop for hanging
that's your finished felt heart with tassel.